Hey everyone, today I'm going to quickly show you how to properly get Source 2 Filmmaker or Half-Life Alex motion capture files to, to actually work. So uh, MJ uh, helped me with this on uh, from Fluid Script Productions and actually he was the one that figured it out or, or someone else did but anyway it's actually super simple so I'm not going to go through the whole procedure on how to essentially get your your rig to work in Source Filmmaker. But as you can see here, I got a working G-Man walking from a uh, a test little a little test walk that I usually use on new new motion capture rigs. And as you can see it is working just as as it should. Now when you export this stuff, if you do it improperly, as you would like if you do it the same way that you would for Source Filmmaker one, you're gonna have like a blob or it's going to be all distorted or really broken, or if you're lucky like I was in the first place, some of it will work, but the bones will be all over the place. So how you go about fixing that is in Blender. Now, I've made a couple tutorials. One is like 25 minutes long. The other one's 20. I'll link those down below, as well as I'll also have the exact versions of everything that I'm using so you can replicate this as I am right now, is that once you retarget your rig, essentially I use Auto Rig Pro, and that's only about 20 bucks or 40 bucks for support in the Pro version. But essentially, what I do is I export, for example, G Man here when I spawn him in uh, in T pose, and then I bring uh, this in with the Blender Source Tools, and basically I retarget it so my animation is walking around like this, and then. Right over here, this is what changes. So we couldn't figure this out, and MJ had the idea of going through this, but apparently someone else figured it out. Essentially, all these options should stay the same, except for right here. Binary 2, that needs to be binary 9. And then model 1 needs to be model 22. And that's pretty much it. You export it, and you should get clean animation. Now, Valve doesn't have any documentation about how to do this properly, so the community's having to, like, figure out how to, you know, get motion capture working, which apparently they've done, but also how to import models, which uh, MJ's also figured out, so I'll link that down in the, uh, the description below. But anyways, guys, um, if this helped, be sure to uh, share it to your friends or anyone that's uh, interested in Source 2 Filmmaker and... Uh, motion capture. I'm thinking about switching over to this program instead of Source Filmmaker 1 or Unreal Engine, but I'm still thinking about it. But anyways, guys, uh, I'll catch you in the next one soon. All right, peace.